Welcome. Today we'll be starting with the 10th standard syllabus. So I'll be talking, taking about quadratic equations. So let us first focus what is an equation. Then we'll move on to what is a quadratic equation. Okay. Any doubts? Please feel free to ask on the group, or you can call me, or you can text me also. So let's start. What is an equation? So when I talk about an equation, equation means equal. There are two words, equate. Equate means equal. So anything which is equal to is called as an equation. If I say x equal to three, it is an equation. If I say x plus three equal to four, it is also an equation. So whenever something, any expression is equated to something, it becomes an equation. That is any expression when equated. Equated means equal. Either it is equal to zero or some other real number. So I can write x equal to three, x plus three equal to four, x square plus four x equal to zero. So these all are nothing but equations. So the left part is expression. When expression is equated to something, it becomes an equation. See, x plus three equal to zero becomes an equation. X square plus five x plus six equal to zero is an equation. X cube equals twenty-seven is an equation. Why? Because everything has an equal to sign. Now, equations can be of various types. We'll focus only on three now. That is, equation can be linear, can be quadratic, or can be cubic. Now, in general, a linear equation is of the form a x plus b equal to zero. Where a can never be zero. To make it a linear equation, here a cannot be zero, and the highest degree of x should be one. Then it is linear equation. Quadratic equation, it is a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero, where the highest degree is two. In this chapter, we'll be focusing on this topic. That is quadratic equation, where every equation will be of the form. A x square plus b x plus c equal to zero. Cubic, just for general knowledge, it is a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d equal to zero. So it is a cubic equation. A linear equation, that this equation will always give a straight line, and quadratic and cubic equation will give you always curves. So let's focus now only on what is quadratic equation. Quadratic equation in the variable x. I am talking about variable x over here. It can be any variable. If it is of the form a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero, where a, b, c are real numbers and a cannot be zero, then such an equation is called as a quadratic equation. The highest degree of the variable is two. You can see the degree of x is highest degree of x is two. If I plot the graph of this quadratic equation, we always get a curve. That curve is named as parabola. You will learn in your later standards. In polynomials, you have studied that expression has zeros, whereas an equation, when we talk about equation, it has roots. Roots means values of x. Whatever value of x gives me the answer zero, that value is called as root of that equation. So let's check now which of the following equations are quadratic equations. So some questions are given to you. I'll not be solving all. I'm solving few of them. So first we need to simplify them, and then we can say that whether it is quadratic or not. So let's solve the first one. So see, if I talk about x minus two the whole square, it becomes x square minus four x plus four. This plus one as it is. Equals 2x minus 3, which becomes x square comes as it is. This minus 4x and this 2x on left side it becomes minus 2x. Minus 4x minus 2x is minus 6x. This is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. So it becomes x square minus 6x plus 8 equal to 0. Here the highest power is 2, and this equation is in the form of A x square plus b x plus c equal to zero. Therefore, it is a quadratic 
equation. Let's take one more example. X square plus x plus eight equal to zero equals x minus four. So you can see that equal terms cancel each other. There is x square x square cancel. So what is left now? Now left is x plus eight equals minus four. That is x plus twelve equal to zero. Now in this x equation there is no x square, so it is not in the form of a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero. So it is no more a quadratic equation. Just by looking we cannot say. We first have to simplify and then we can say whether the equation is quadratic or not. We can solve the remaining sums and we can solve first question from your first exercise. So now. If it is a quadratic equation, you have to write a, b, c. What is a? Coefficient of x square. What is b? Coefficient of x. What is c? Constant term. That is term which does not have x. So first one, it is 2y is equal to 10 minus y square. We never keep y square negative, so I'll take y square on left side. So it becomes y square. Sorry, it should be plus. Small mistake. This should be y square plus 2y minus 10 equal to zero. So here I'll get a as one. That is coefficient of y square. B as two. Coefficient of x and c as minus 10. That is coefficient of constant. So a is one, b is two, c is minus 10. Let us take next. X square plus 5x equal to minus of 3 minus x. Now this minus goes inside and it will go here also. So what will I get? X square plus 5x equals minus 3 plus x. So this x will come on left side. So I'll get 5x minus x. That is 4x and minus 3 also on left side. So I'll get plus 3. So it becomes x square plus 4x plus 3 equal to 0. That is My a becomes one, b becomes four, and c becomes three. I hope you all are getting it. If it is going fast, please text me. I'll make it a little bit slow. Next is x square minus nine equal to thirteen. So it becomes x square minus nine minus thirteen equal to zero. Always make the right side zero. So it is x square minus twenty two equal zero. So here. I'll first start in standard form. Standard form means I should have x square. I should have x, but there was no x, so I'll write it as 0x. So x square plus 0x minus 22 equals 0. Hence a becomes 1, b is 0, c is minus 20. Now I have to represent the following situations in the form of quadratic equation. Some scenario is given to us. I have to convert into quadratic. Let's see. They have said the product of two consecutive positive integers. Not even consecutive means one after the other. If one number is three, next should be four. If I say seven, then it should be eight. Similarly, if I say x, the next should be x plus one. So I have taken two consecutive positive integers b x and x plus one. Now what is given? The product is given as three zero six. That is, if I multiply these two. I get the answer as 306. So x x plus 1 equals 306. That is x square. Then I'll multiply this x x square plus x minus 306 equal to 0. Let's take one more example. Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. Means if Rohan is x, then mother is 26 year older. So mother should be 26 year more than Rohan. So mother will be x plus 26. The product of the age is three years from now. Means in future, means after three years, their product becomes 360. Let's see now. So let Rohan's today's age be x and mother's age be y. So from the first condition, mother is 26 more than Rohan. So mother's age will be x plus 26. After three years, what will be Rohan's age? Today's age. Plus three more years, so mother's age becomes today's age. That is y plus three. What is y? X plus twenty six. So x plus twenty six plus three becomes x plus twenty nine. So now this product comes out to be three sixty. 
so x plus 3 into x plus 29 equals 360. If you multiply the brackets, I have written the answer directly. Okay. So we get x square plus 32x minus 273 equals 0. Now, what do you mean by solution of a quadratic equation? Solution means I need to think about for what values of x my answer will be 0. Means what should I think of x in this which gives me the answer as 0 that will be called as solution. So if I talk about quadratic equation it has it can have at most two values at most means there can be some quadratic which will have no value of x which gives the answer of 0. There will be some quadratic which will only have one value of x. There will be some quadratic which will have two values of x. These two values are called as roots of the equation. What they are called? Roots of the equation. Now here I want to check whether minus 2 minus 3 are roots of the equation or not. So I will put x as minus 3 first. Is minus 3 square plus 5 times minus 3 plus 6. I get answer 0. So it is the root of the equation. If I talk about minus 2, I will get minus 2 square plus 5 times minus 2 plus 6. Again I am getting 0. So it is an equation. If I put any other value other than this, I will not get it as 0. Let us check. If I put p of, that is I will put x as 1. So what will I get? 1 square plus 5 times 1, that is 5 plus 6. So I am getting the answer as 12, which is not 0. So 1 is not the root of this equation. Okay, the next class we will be studying how to find that x or how to find those roots of the equation. There are three methods. One is factorization, which I have learned last year. Second is formula method. And third is completing square method. So we will cover one by one in the next subsequent lectures. Any doubts, please ask. And please solve the exercise as per given in the PPT.